I was being in religion and God trying to reason with me about my thinking and uh, it wasn't the easiest go for him. You know? yeah. It took me a little while. Yeah. You know, and God's like, I guess this guy's not done suffering yet. <laughs> you know? It's so like I keep trying to come and save him from his suffering, but I guess he's not done with his suffering yet. <laughs> you don't you don't realize that's what you're doing at yeah. the time, but that's really what it is. You're not done suffering yet. You want to continue to hold on to what you think is life, but the thing you're holding on to is isn't the life preserver. You see, you think you're holding on to a life preserver, but really you're holding on to the weight that's tied around your leg that's dragging you down to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to hold on to that weight because you are so deceived that you think life is found in this thing that in your mind looks like a life preserver, but it's actually a weight. Yeah. And it's bringing you to the bottom. And you don't realize it, right? And it's, in, it's in that shift when you realize that where life is actually found, that you let go of the weight. You realize it's not a life preserver anymore. All of a sudden you see it for the weight that it is. You see that it's been like a millstone tied around your neck, dragging you to the bottom, where all along you thought life was found there. And so you kept clinging to it, clinging to it, clinging to it. And it's the only form of life you've ever known. And so you're so afraid to let it go. But then all of a sudden you realize that's the thing drowning you. <laughs> and then you let go. Right? And you realize God is the only one that can save you. God is the only one with a life preserver or a life jacket. How's it going, guys?